They say these are going fast. That Lobo. Greetings, America, Internet, YouTube, viewers. What's the deal? Bitter Pop Hunter here. Today is Thursday, February 1st. So I'm going on a hunt, see what I can find. Got a coupon from Hot Topic saying I got five dollars to blow. No homo. So I'm gonna go see what I can spend it on. I think Scary Terry is around. I'm not sure. You guys may not even see this footage or video because I may not find anything at all. So today I'm wearing my Patriots hat. So many people gave me shit for wearing an Eagles hat. Like, yo, I thought you was a Bucks fan. Why are you wearing? What difference does it make? I have a hat on, people. It's a team. I don't necessarily care for them, but I have every NFL team hat. I have damn near every NBA team hat. I even have some hockey hats. I have some camouflage hats, Duck Dynasty, whatever. I like hats. I wear hats. I don't have just the same five hats, even though you only may see five. It's just I grab whatever's closest to the door when I'm on my way out the house. I have over 70 hats, so. I apologize for wearing the Eagles hat. Today we're going to mail off a faker pop that I picked up for a long time viewer and supporter channel, the homie Dow54. I'm going to ship this off to him. Brother, I only have a purple Sharpie, so don't give me shit for writing your address and name in purple. I'm sorry, that's all I can find. But yeah, let's go hit up the mall, see if we can find something. I doubt the streets is dry right now, but you never know. A lot of stuff is supposed to hit February 1st. We'll see. See y'all then. This one has the impractical jokers. <laughs> Only figures they have. Damn it. What's the deal, Bitty Pop Hunter here? Back at the crib. I started off February pretty good. I got some things today that I wasn't expecting and I ended January on a good note as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. If you follow me on Instagram, yes, I'm on Instagram. Follow me, the Bitty Pop Hunter. Check me out. I post some pictures, I post pops, whatever. Anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice yesterday I picked up the Lobo Pop. Local comic shop hit me up and was like, yo, do you need this? Yes, put one on hold for me. So, 
bad. Dope. I didn't want the common one. I just wanted the bloody one. And this thing is badass. This is blood splatter, man. Look at that. The boots, the pants, the gun, that cigar. This thing is dope. I wish he had longer hair, the dreads, but hey. Look at that. Dope. It says, bite me fanboys. Yo. This pop is badass, man. The detail in this thing is amazing. Doesn't smell too much of vinyl. Nonetheless, it's just dope. The detail. Look at the knee pads. It's got skulls on the knee pads. Everything. The combat boots. The chain. The sickle. The chain. Dope. Dope. So, yeah, that's the only thing we picked up yesterday. Last day of January. Still pretty good. But then we fast forward to February 1st. And today was just... Ah! I picked up some things today that just... Wow. To me. You know, it may not be big to you guys, but this is what it's about. It's about what I collect and what I like. And, you know, it's not what's hot, you know. And some things may be hot. I don't know. But this is what I like to collect. This is what I look forward to. And that's what I picked up. So... I picked up Scary Terry without the pants. I'm not a big Rick and Morty supporter. I don't watch the show that often. I have watched a few episodes. In this episode, I have watched the Nightmare episode where they wondering what scares Scary Terry and they go in his mind while he's sleeping and he's scared of being pantless. And it's just, it's a funny episode. I'm Scary Terry, bitch, and yo, it looks like him. So yeah, Scary Terry Pantless, dope. Of course it has the writing, like everybody. I don't know what the big deal is about everybody with the writing. You can't see that. It has writing on the box, yeah. It says Rick and Morty, Scary Terry, no pants, oh bitch. That's how he talks. But yeah, picked up Scary Terry. I wasn't a fan of this pop. I'm not a fan of 8-bits, but I did order the Jason NES version. I saw the Freddy on Glams. I was like, nah, I'm not even into that. Doesn't look good to me. But when I saw it in person, I had to pick it up. So we got the Freddy GameStop exclusive, 8-bit. I don't know if I'll keep it. It might be up for trade bait. But after I saw it, I had to get it. It looks dope. It's badass. I like it. So yeah, picked up the Freddy 8-bit. Then, to end the day, to finish the first day of February, I picked up what I've been wanting for a long time. Ah, I needed this. It's the trap jaw. God damn! FYE exclusive in all his glory. I love the colorway. It's so much different than the common. I love it. I've completed my set of Wave 2 of the Masters Universe, and this badass is awesome. I stand corrected. Trap Jaw is from Wave 1. It's featured on the box of Wave 1, and I don't have any of these, not one. I've traded for these two, and I got burned. My Grail is She-Ra, He-Man. Skeletor is not a big deal to me. I would love to have them, but Spyco and Hordak, I've been burned on. I would love to have those, but... Shira is like a grail to me, and uh, I'm so sad I started collecting after this set was out. But yeah, this is the Trap Jaw. I believe Trap Jaw is from Wave 1. I stand corrected. On the new Trap Jaw box, he is a part. It's new. He is a part of Wave 1. So I completed my set before. But anyway, here's the Trap Jaw. Old school. Love the colors on this. Looks just like the cartoon, looks just like the figs. And bam, here's the other colorway. My lighting, I'm sorry people, but yeah. Dope. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, oh man. This thing is just dope. Love it. I picked up three of these. One's for the homie Jay Rogers. Jay Rogers, I'm gonna send out your set tomorrow. You're gonna get the Faker, you're gonna get Mossman, and you're gonna get the FY exclusive Trap Jaw. 
while I was headed to the mall to go pick this up. I called up Richard Red Light from Fig Life Miami. He's collecting the heat man set as well. I called him up. I'm like, bro, do you need this? He was like, nah, I'll pass. Just I'll find it. And as soon as I caught mine and was getting ready to leave, he was like, bro, can you go back and get me one? So I ran back and scooped him up one. So, brother, I'm going to put this in the mail for you probably tonight. But yeah, I'm excited, people. Ah, it's a great day. Great day. Wasn't no chases like Wasatch, you know what I mean? Y'all go check out Wasatch Pop. You find a chase today. I'm not going to say which one. You go find his YouTube, watch the video, and see what he picked up today. But he picked up a new chase, and it looks pretty cool. That's it, people. Don't forget, we're doing a 4K giveaway. The channel has reached 4,000 subscribers. I, I still can't believe it. Thank you, guys. We're almost actually at 4,400, 4,500. I'm not sure. But we're doing a 5K giveaway as well. We're going to give away a Moss Man. We're going to give away a Faker. And I may throw in there a Trap Jaw. Who knows? You might get three exclusives from the Mass Universe set. We'll see. But as of right now, you will get a Faker. You will get a Moss Man. That's it, guys. Stay tuned for the channel. We're doing more things. I got some upcoming videos with some people who's well-known in the YouTube. I got some upcoming things coming up on the channel. I may have some features of other YouTubers. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> whack. You ain't give me that time. when you showing that. Whack. Yo mama. Kiss mine. That's it, guys. If you're watching this, you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. She threw me all off. Please like, share, and comment. And as always, I'll see y'all the next time. God damn it.